We are live from uh, Paris. We are here from the Paris KubeCon. I have a very special treat for you guys and girls. I have a very respected figure in the Kubernetes and AWS community, uh, Prasida. Prasida is a principal specialist solutions architect in uh, AWS, but I will uh, let her introduce herself. Prasida, welcome to the show. Can thank you, you thank introduce you. yourself, please? Yes, sure. Yeah, first of all, thanks, Raj, for having me here. I'm truly honored uh, getting interviewed by you know, Raj, <laughs> the cloud guru. So. Yeah, let me start by introducing myself. Yes. Uh, my name is Prasida Satie, and I'm Principal Specialist uh, Solution Architect at AWS. I've been in AWS for last three and a half years, and I work with uh, AWS strategic customers, uh, helping them with uh, complex architecture and designs uh, around application modernization and any containerization uh, initiatives. So, uh, you know, just to give some uh, background on where I come from. Uh, so I've seen like uh, all last few decade industries starting yes. from, uh, uh, you know, like where we started as a Java programmer right. you know, in, during the internet boom. And uh, I was there and nice. like you yes. <laughs> and like rest of the folks. And uh, then I moved to the API, REST okay. API. Okay. I built a lot of standardization for different companies, governance, and also built a lot of uh, web application around that in my past career. And then I landed up to uh, this uh, solution, you know, architecture. Yeah, solution architecture or you can say uh, cloud uh, native. Right, you know? right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and as I'm here at uh, KubeCon, you must be knowing like what my expertise is, right? Like yes. I'm core Kubernetes. Uh, so I love Kubernetes. I've been there for a long time, as I said. Uh, so it's been exciting over here. And, uh, you know, like I started uh, my career actually in uh, platform and product engineering role okay. right uh, for last so many years okay and uh, this is a new role for me in aws uh, where i moved from the core uh, platform like i worked at ebay cisco equinix and uh, oracle uh, those were all like uh, product roles enterprises, yeah, yeah enterprise and now i moved this here to sales and solution architecture right. it was a big move for me but it was a great move for me. The reason is like I it, it incredibly changed my experience okay. around learning, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I I will I'll say like uh, you know that they say a uh, learning is a lifelong journey. I would say you can experience that in AWS. True. True. Every day I learn something like a new feature, new service, either from my great colleague like you <laughs> or or you are from too my kind. <laughs> Or from my customers or people around me. So okay. uh, learning is great over here. I mean, enjoying it. Excellent. So yeah, tied to that, Prasida, mm -hmm. Kubernetes, it's a huge space right now. Correct. So how can someone start learning Kubernetes? Oh, yeah. Kubernetes is, is sometimes someone feel like it's very hard. Uh, yeah. It's a very daunting technology. People feel that way. And to learn any complex uh, technology, first you need to learn the fundamentals, definitely. Yes. Uh, to break it down a little bit and then go in, dive deep into those, right? So yeah, uh, Kubernetes uh, documentation itself is a great start for everyone to go uh, for learning the components, architecture and anything to know about high level. Um, I would also recommend the books uh, like some Kubernetes great books and tutorials like Kubernetes the hard way by Kelsey, Kelsey. Hightower. Yeah. Uh, that's one of my favorites. So you can learn from there. and. Um, uh, it gives you the hands-on experience as right. well, right? Uh, and then uh, these these are great, okay, for people who already know about containers. But what about like people who are very new to this space, right? right? Like how do they learn about it? So and also I had some little bit of concern under representation yeah. of uh, women in this sure. Kubernetes yeah. uh, expert area. Yeah. So I saw that in my past experience. So I did this little experimentation uh, after I joined AWS. Uh, so with a bunch of my colleagues, I presented in the uh, AWS Women Conference, which is also called Awesome Conference. Nice. And over there, we took the concept uh, to teach the Kubernetes in very fun and exciting way mm -hmm. uh, so that people can understand the concept and relate it to very well. So we went with the containers, plastic containers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we literally took the props and showcased wow, that. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, like the balls uh, will be with the containers and we yeah. put it inside. Another. So it was 
fun experience yeah. and everybody enjoyed over there and uh, the result of it yeah. was a uh, lot of women were interested in joining the TFC you know we have TFC yes. the yes. technical field community right. uh, for the expertise area in right. that like uh, this was containers so a lot of women joined over there after that presentation and after seeing that success uh, we thought like let's scale this beyond AWS yeah. and Amazon uh, so we, uh, we went to the Grace Hopper right. uh, in Florida, mm -hmm. and we presented this presentation, but in a different theme, like okay. Mario theme. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah. they recorded by any chance? Or? I don't know, but uh, we have recorded it ourselves. Okay. So yeah, but we, it's internal to AWS. Yeah, I hope I could uh, share that. Okay. So uh, it's that Mario and Luigi, they are explaining about the power puffs and all the issues in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> and it's related nice. to the containers, Kubernetes and all those things. So it was an extremely fun experience with mm -hmm. 500 women attending that workshop. That's incredible. Yeah. And along with those props and fun, they also did the on uh, labs over there. Okay. So they kind of got that learning and like we got a great feedback. So I was very happy. And then coming back to AWS. Yeah. So, so after I joined, I saw there was uh, some, uh, you know, like a gap between like two for customers and uh, essays to learn about the uh, EKS, Amazon right. EKS. It, to fill the gap, like I started writing uh, the workshop mm -hmm. and I published it two years back. Okay. And it's going amazing. Like I think uh, most all the essays, field essays, and uh, all the customers are still using that all over the globe. So mm -hmm. I was really- No, no, those workshops are great. I still run them with my customers, uh, like the EKS workshop and also like the Carpenter workshop that you started creating and everything. Right, so super awesome resources. I'll give all the link in the description. Thanks, Raj. Summarizing a little <coughs> bit. So basically, learn the fundamentals first and then uh, read some books and then the workshops. Correct. That's the recommended way you learn. Any certifications that... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I forgot totally about that. Certifications are really great because I tell my mentees, yeah. uh, they ask me, where do I start? Right. Uh, the CCAD uh, and the CKA. Right. So those are great way to uh, get, uh, you know, like hands-on experiences. Right. Uh, right. Along with the certification. Right. So definitely those are uh, required. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about some Kubernetes use cases that mm -hmm. you see. And of course, this is 2024, not, no interview goes without uh, mentioning Gen AI. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So can you talk about what are some use cases you are seeing in your day-to-day -day work, including the Gen AI ones? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So Kubernetes is kind of very powerful platform, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen like uh, the demand for Kubernetes has been increasing mm -hmm. in the area of Gen AI and of course, so um, I feel that uh, the customers are asking uh, for uh, powerful computation resources, right. uh, you know, like uh, more GPUs, mm -hmm. uh, HPC, right. uh, those right. kind of clusters. So Kubernetes is really great over there in that aspect because it provides you the abstract on mm -hmm. top of that and helps you to scale your, uh, you know, infrastructure. Right. So people are using for that. And then I've also seen Kubernetes have been used for fine tuning of uh, modeling because you already have the models. You just need to make sure that uh, you scale uh, those uh, models, right? Mm -hmm. For that also, because you can use multiple workloads mm -hmm. uh, in the Kubernetes, you can do that as well. And then uh, the last part is like inferencing. Uh, mm -hmm. You can deploy uh, the ML uh, applications and you can scale, um, mm -hmm. basically it's a, uh, it's very famous for scaling, right? It's right. Infrastructure scaling, right. application scaling, horizontal scaling and all. So it really works with the customers uh, for the Gen AI workloads. So when I started, AWS had 35 services mm -hmm. and now we have over 200 services. Mm -hmm. So if, let's say you are fresher again, mm -hmm. right? And you have to restart your AWS journey, mm -hmm. how will you learn it? Okay, okay, okay. That's, that's another great question. Okay, so I would first recommend to subscribe to this guy. <laughs> nice. He has a great YouTube channel, uh, Cloud with Raj, right? That's right. Yeah. So he has great resources on cloud. He has great resources on system design, you, DevOps yes. and yeah. everything. So first place is to start over there. And then <clears throat> after that, I would say that you can do some certifications of yeah. all the, any cloud providers, AWS, Azure and GCP. Right. Uh, that will give you like the foundational uh, experience on how the networking works, security right. works, and uh, all the basic like the resiliency and all right. those concepts, right? Uh, around VPC, uh, availability zones and all. So it's good to have the certification. 
and definitely uh, you think about like uh, where you want to go uh, mm -hmm. in what respect so i i like the i like rolands i think last video he mentioned about the team model team model yeah. right so that's what i like to uh, follow uh, you go broad on the com uh, cloud computing aspects mm -hmm. but then you pick one area where you are passionate about Right? right and you dive deep into that you be the expert over there mm -hmm. and for me like it was containers and kubernetes right. so that's where right and you uh, you can be expert in database right. or someone can be in ai ml so right. you pick your area and you learn more about it and then you conquer that world so that would be my advice got it and then how <laughs> what is your preferred way to dive deep like do you like to do hands on read books or read blogs mm -hmm. or watch youtube or like how do you do that yeah so uh, first thing is like uh, for me uh, i'm very bad in reading uh, mm -hmm. i'm trying to get better on that but i like to watch videos like your okay. videos and yeah. all those videos yes. so that helps me like uh, if you want to learn about aws reinvent videos are the best yes so you can learn from there a lot of, part of the concepts and then the next step would be like once you know the basic fundamentals about that particular service or area then you can go for uh, some kind of workshops or tutorials right. what you get online uh, dive deep get some hands on experience that's very necessary right. actually mm -hmm. even to be a solution architect uh, even to be a field sa or even to be a specialist uh, you need to have hands on experience so i would right. say like always uh, stay focused on writing code okay. uh, so that would be my advice excellent so Prasida, how can someone try to join AWS or any advice for folks who are looking to join AWS, who wants to be like you, right? Mm -hmm. Like, how should they think about it? Okay, sure. Uh, so AWS is big on a leadership principle, right? right? Uh, and the staff format. Yeah. I would say like, if you are preparing for AWS interviews or you want to join, uh, focus that on those aspects yeah. and, uh, you know, like map whatever you have done in the past according uh, to the leadership principles right. and according to the um, you know staff on staff that. Armor, I yes. did the same uh, with my son yes. who did yeah. the internship uh, <laughs> at AWS for la last year, yeah. uh, two years he did. Yeah. So that was my uh, knowledge sharing to him as well. Like, yes. yeah, prepare your interview in that format and he did make it. So it really works, I guess. Excellent. Uh, so that would be my advice. and. Uh, the bar is very high over yeah. here at AWS uh, for anyone who is joining because we have such great colleagues, <laughs> smart colleagues over here. Uh, yeah. Excellent, excellent. All right, Prasida. So the next section is we call it rapid fire round. Oh, wow. Where you, you do not know the questions. Uh -huh. uh, so I'm just going to ask you some questions and you'll just answer sure. whatever comes to your head. Okay. okay. All right. I'll try so, my best. Yeah. Mac or PC? Mac. Kindle, paperback, or audiobook? Kindle. Okay. What is the AWS region uh -huh. where most of your projects are in? Uh, US East 1. US East 1? <laughs> Alright, the original one. Okay. Uh, when you open up AWS console, uh -huh. what's the first service that you go oh, to? Oh, of course. You're asking me. <laughs> it's Amazon EKS. <laughs> Amazon EKS. Excellent. Andy, Andy Jesse mm -hmm. comes to your house. Wow. What will you cook? <laughs> okay. I will cook probably. Uh, that's a very famous uh, dish uh, like which I can prepare very well. It's from the south of India called Rasam. Rasam, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and people don't know she's vegetarian, but she also cooks really good vegetarian. Yeah. So that's good. Um, all right. If you can have dinner with anyone, uh -huh. dead or alive, who will that be? Mother Teresa. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Love and then what kind of questions will you ask Mother Teresa? Uh, how did she do, how did she do this, uh, you know, great work in yeah. such a different world you know like how did she manage to uh, give her learnings right. to the entire world right. so it's like a scaling in aws yes. what you say right yes. Yes. but it's scaling like beyond uh, one's capability 100 yeah so yeah. that's what like i love about that fact charity well you are sharing a lot of knowledge and you are trying to empower women to join tech right yeah. which is yeah. great yeah. on itself I, I i'm doing whatever is possible for my yeah side. yeah no mother teresa <laughs> we like mother teresa because i'm from calcutta oh, so oh, mother yeah, teresa yeah, stayed true. there and did a lot of things correct, there correct, we have correct. Mother Teresa, uh, Mother Teresa's establishment there. Oh, nice. So I, I want to visit there. once. Yeah, you should. It's really nice. I took my friend from America there. They really liked it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Excellent. You, you are privileged to be from there. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. So, favorite Amazon leadership principle? Uh, uh, 
customer obsession only one only one yeah customer obsession customer obsession <laughs> excellent uh favorite music band music band um i i'm not very good at this okay it could uh, be hindi it could be bollywood okay so That's any table. bollywood uh, punjabi music where there is like balle balle i love yeah. to dance yeah yeah favorite thing you saw in paris so far Oh yeah. Uh I've been to Paris before uh with my family. Yeah. So of course Eiffel Tower is great, but this time we went to Brussels. Nice. Yeah. So I love to walk in the lane where you can have waffles, taste wine, yeah. whiskey, uh beer. Yeah. So that was the best part uh, in this times too. So I love that Brussels. Excellent. Excellent. All right, uh, how can people connect with you for sure? Uh yeah I am not there much on uh, other social media but LinkedIn of course uh, yeah. you can go to my LinkedIn I'm very active so you can reach out to me anytime over there Excellent thank you Prasida for coming to the channel and talking to the viewers Thank you so much Raj for having me